हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल वेलकम टू द फाइनल पार्ट ऑफ द चैप्टर थ्री आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू हैव वॉच द बोथ द प्रीवियस पार्ट ऑफ चैप्टर थ्री दैट इज फाइबर टू फेब्रिक इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव सीन हाउ द फाइबर्स आर सेपरेटेड यूजिंग द प्रोसेस ऑफ गिनिंग आफ्टर दैट दिस फाइबर्स आर converted into yarns using the process of spinning we have already seen that but now in today's part or in today's lecture we are going to study how these yarns are converted into fabric there are two methods one is weaving and another one is knitting today we will see both these processes in detail okay students let's start with the process of weaving as i said earlier it is the process by which we can convert yarns into fabric so let's see as given in your textbook it is the process of arranging two sets of yarns together to make a fabric is called weaving it is very simple two sets of yarns are arranged together and make a fabric let's consider my one hand as a one set of yarn and my another hand as another set of yarn if i arrange this both yarns like this this both set of yarns create a fabric it is very simple okay students as given in your figure number 3.12 a b c you can also make your fabric using two sets of yarn two different sets of yarn or two same sets of yarn you can make fabric you can try this at your home weaving of fabric is done using a device called looms as you can see in the figure number 3.13 there is the example of hand loom this looms can be operated using hand or using power electricity okay there are hand looms as well as power based looms okay it is very simple the device which is used for weaving is known as looms is it clear students so we have done the process of weaving in which two sets of two sets of yarns are used or arranged together to make a fabric and for this process the device is used is looms now let's study the last process by which we can convert yarns into fabric we have already learned weaving now let's study knitting knitting is the process in which a single yarn is used to make a fabric only one single yarn is used to make entire fabric such a process is known as knitting mostly the woolen clothes such as socks sweater muffler this kind of clothes or the material or fabrics are used or created using the process of knitting simple in weaving there are two sets of yarns arranged together to make fabric and in knitting only a single yarn is used to make entire fabric as given in your textbook in knitting a single yarn is used to make a piece of fabric as you can see in the figure number 3.14 there are they have given the example of knitting the particular knitting of sweater or shawl is being done in figure number 3.14 okay as given in your textbook a single yarn gets pulled out continuously as the fabric gets unraveled in the knitting if we pull out a single 
yarn or a single thread it get continuously pulled out and the fabric entire fabric get unraveled what is the meaning of unraveled it becomes open khul jana knitting is either done by hands or using machines in earlier times they mostly use hands for knitting but nowadays the machines are used for knitting okay this both the processes that is weaving and knitting this both the processes are used for making varieties of fabric okay varieties of fabric are produced using both the processes and from this fabrics variety of cloth items are available in the market as you can see we wear different kinds of clothes every day this is only because of this two process it is either weaving or either knitting i hope all of you have learned both the concept clearly if still anyone has any doubt please comment down below or message me personally okay students let's start with the final and last topic of the chapter history of clothing material in earlier times in ancient time where our grand 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 parents are living at that time what clothing material they were using do they have any fabric or clothes let's see in this particular topic okay in ancient time in earlier times they are using barks and big leaves of a tree skin of animals and furs for covering themselves they use this material as clothes or fabric can you imagine that at that time they don't have they haven't find any fabric that time so they are using this barks leaves animal skins and furs as a cloth or fabric to cover themselves okay as the time goes they learn how to weave twigs and grass into mats and basket okay as time goes they learn many things such as animal fleece and hair were twisted together to form long strands they have also created strands using this animal fleece and hairs and this strands are used to make fabrics they have also learned how to make fabric using this hairs and animal fleece okay animal fleece are nothing but this ruwanti okay so they have given two examples one is the example of river ganga and another is the example of river nile okay let's see what are this example the early indians wore fabric made out of cotton that grew in the region near the river ganga so they have told us that the cotton cotton is grew near the ganga river and using that cotton the early indians wore the fabrics okay and another example is in ancient egypt cotton as well as flax now what is flax flax is a another plant that gives the natural fiber you can add this flax into the example of natural fiber so this cotton as well as flax were cultivated cultivated means grow grow okay they grow near the river nile and were used for making fabrics so this cotton as well as flax at that time in ancient time this both are used to make fabric and using this fabric they have woven or they have created some types of clothes at that time in ancient time okay so let's go further in those day they don't know stitching nowadays we are wearing this cloth which are stitched as you can see my shirt is also stitched here here okay as you can see here these are nothing but stitches using stitches we can combine 
parts of fabric and we can create clothes but in ancient time stitching was not known people at that time simply cut the fabric and wore around it okay nowadays also there are many example like sari dhoti lungi turban is used as unstitched piece of fabric isn't it just as there is variety of food available in our country there is a large variety exist also in the fabrics and clothes i know you also have many many clothes in your cupboards i also have many clothes in my cupboard i sometimes wear shirt i sometimes wear t-shirt in winter i also wear sweater muffler okay so this varieties of clothes available in our country due to various process and varieties of fibers and fabrics are available okay students and at the last they have given one flow chart the cotton rolls by the process of ginning it converted into fiber that fiber by the process of spinning converted into yarn and this yarn by the process of either knitting or either weaving it converted into fabric this simple flow chart tells the entire chapter okay i hope all of you have learned the entire chapter easily if anyone still has any doubt in any chapter or in any topic so please comment down below or message me personally we will solve that doubt okay i hope you all have liked the video and if someone hasn't learned anything so please rewatch the video as many time you want okay let's meet in the next chapter till then Take care students. Bye-bye.